All right, we're at Go AZ Motorcycles in Scottsdale, Arizona, where uh, we're about to pick up my new bike. So let's do this. on the other side if you want to go check it out. Part of every buying process. Oh, you dog attack. <laughs> Apparently you have to qualify to buy your bike by being attacked by this dog. This young man is trying to buy a tricycle. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick tour around the facilities, show you our storage basement where we keep a lot of our bikes, kind of show you the test track where they do some of the uh, training at, go through the service department, and then we'll end up in the delivery room where Joe's brand new 500 EXC KTM is waiting. All right? Let's do it. All right. Mike, aren't you glad you get to be a part of this? Yeah, we got the first responders event going on today. Around September 11th every year, we try to do uh, an appreciation for all of our servicemen and women. Wow, outstanding, our Marine. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> and our, our owner is a Marine, too. When I heard that, I was hoping to get a discount, but I was already getting a good deal. Besides, they were donating $100 from the sale of my bike to the first responders. Get that code? No, I didn't. Damn it. <laughs> Turn it away. <laughs> you gotta get the code. Really this should be like the most elaborate bike heist ever. Yeah, there's, a, there's a marine street glide right there. That is kind of a painted bike. Too fast. <laughs> Go AZ has a lot of inventory, and they do a really good job protecting it in this amazing basement. Security was outstanding and getting in was like getting into Fort Knox. So right now they're keeping all the Harley Davidsons down here for the new uh, Harley Davidson of Scottsdale building. And they're gonna have their own storage facility over there. So once all those Harleys get out of here, we're gonna have a lot more room for our stuff. And we got you know a couple of Aquila RSV. Four RFs right there. We only made 200 of those. Wow. Um, that's number three of them. So a rare bike, huh? Yeah, really rare. What an amazing collection of bikes we found down there, including a familiar one. Yeah, those look familiar. <laughs> this video really doesn't do justice to the size and scope of this basement where they keep all their inventory. It was amazing. There was rare bikes, and there were so many different new bikes and different types of bikes, uh, even Harley bikes from the Harley Davidson shop. It's a good day to buy a bike. Equally impressive was the test track above the basement. Forward's basement. Uh, this is where they do events like Bob's Biker Blast um, every year. It's a huge event for us, brings in thousands of people. I could imagine the carnival atmosphere that must surround some of the events they put on on this test track and couldn't wait to come and see one for myself. And we'll slide through the service department. That's Sonic back there working on a little guy's KTM. Uh, probably one of the best KTM mechanics you'll ever find. Mike made a pretty bold statement about Sonic being the best KTM mechanic there is. Okay. We'll see. A really very Ducati. Big box right there. I really had a good time checking out all of the facilities that GoAZ had. And while the tour was cool, I was really getting a little impatient. I was ready to see my new bike. There she is.
There she is. Uh, Pro Ben PPM Bark Busters. Slick looking bike. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's not going to look this nice in a couple days though. After going over the bike with me, showing me the handguards and the custom skid plate I asked for, Mike went ahead and had me sign some papers that basically said the bike was put together correctly, and then brought me some swag, including a KTM toolkit. Nice. Yeah, so a nice speed Allen wrench there. So a really nice pair of pliers. Uh, some sockets. Getting the toolkit was a nice surprise, and then it was off the finance. This is Brandon, he's the dirty financier. I'm very dirty. <laughs> well, I don't know if you had to call him dirty. <laughs> we know how this goes. Do they still make printers like that? Or is that like really old? No, they still make How do you get that service? Do you have to like use a time machine? It's like with my <laughs> After giving Brandon a hard time about his old printer, which took forever, by the way, to print out the contract, Brandon went over the terms of the contract and before long, it was time to sign. The big signature. The big one. Let's see if he can do it. I don't know, it's kind of expensive. It's kind of expensive. Well, I got one signature, so I just imprint like, that. And yeah, yeah good. We, right. we can make this happen with or without you. <laughs> After shaking hands, I took the bike for a short ride, and then we loaded it up on the truck and headed home. I can definitively say that sometimes it's the archer and not the arrow. And sometimes it's the freaking arrow. And this, my friends, is the finest arrow. Service, are you in the military? We train the military. Oh, that's, the only, that's the only reason people live in services. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah. But I love being out there in the desert. You know what I mean? Like, just yeah, yeah. go. It's cooler There's up no there. There's no mountains. Huh? It's cooler There's up no there. There's no mountains. Huh? It's cooler There's up no there. There's no mountains. Every time I've ever gone there, it's like completely flat. 